Welcome everybody, Shade Owner here, and we have rebranded to United Gamers Authority, and this time we are going to be in Conan, let me get that image off of there, this is a little bit different uh, walkthrough, we're going to show you the step-by-step -step direction on how to play multiplayer Conan without actually using a server. It's a little bit iffy because it does put a lot of strain on the connected party's machine. What I mean by that is the person that starts the game that has the other person connect to them. If you have a lower end machine, I would suggest you connect to somebody that has a higher end machine. And it, there's some tips that I'll show you that can help lower that shortly. But first, you need a friend to connect to. And in the friends list, you can copy your Funcom ID down here at the bottom. It even has a easy clip uh, button that you can copy your Funcom ID, share it with somebody else, and when you add a friend, you put their, that ID right here. I do have Phantom with me. How's it going, Phantom? I'm doing good. Um, he is already on here. Um, obviously, for some reason, this Funcom thinks he's still Jeremy Schumann, but I don't know who that guy is, but I know who Phantom is. Um, when we get into the game, this this will make a little bit m more sense on how this works. But first, let's, um, let's go over some of the beginning settings you want to make sure that are set up before you get into game. It's... It makes it easier to connect when you have some things done. In the game, we'll go over some of the server settings that you need to do. You have, uh, but right now, let's do this. The, the foliage quality, I'm going to show you guys in game what that does. And that is a big one. You've got to have that on low to make sure that you get the best frame rate when you have somebody connecting to you or you're connecting to somebody else. Um, gameplay, there's really not much in here. Um, let's just go ahead and jump into the game and, uh, go ahead and get it set up. So I'm going to go single player. I'm going to say new game. You want to do activate co-op. And if you're new to the game, I would definitely suggest doing civilize. But because we've played the game numerous hours, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do the, the normal. This is basically the normal of the game. Um, well, how do you say that, Phantom? Decadent? Is that what it is? Yes. Um, there are custom settings, but we'll get them those custom settings inside the game. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite my existing save game so that my buddy can join me. We can start out new. All right, so I'm in the game now, and I didn't go through the character creation because you'll have fun making all kinds of crazy-looking people. Uh, from inside the game, you want to hit the escape button, go to your friends list, find somebody who's actually online, but he's apparently not online. Okay, so now that um, Phantom is online, a little envelope shows up up here that you can click to invite them to the game session. And it says, Session Invite Sent. Yeah, the one thing uh, about this survival game, and also about a lot of survival games, is y you could just stand there and gain experience. So me just standing here, I went up a level, and if you look up in the top left-hand corner, there's a little white bar that goes across. Well, actually, it gets it's more of a beige or tan color, um, or cream color, whatever you want to call it. Um, that will slowly go across the screen or across above the health bar that um, just slowly increases even the longer you survive. 
So, this uh, invite. I've got to go to my friends list to get it, correct? You should be able to. Request session, session invites. There yep. we are. Session invites, and you accept it there. So I basically have to go to the same place to in to accept it that you went to send it. Yes. You go to the friends list and just choose a different yeah. tab. Now you can yeah. also, if somebody is being obnoxious and you thought they were a friend, you can even block people. You would uh, just, uh, if they're on your friends list, you can block them on the side here. And here in a moment... The way that this works, um, unlike servers, is the person that is joining will end up next to the person that created the game. So here in a moment after he's done creating his character, he'll show up here. <clears throat> I should hopefully be appearing near you now. <clears throat> ah, there we are. I'm behind you. Yeah, I see that. All right, so after the, depending on your network connection, after the long-awaited connection times, um, after I quit doing the emoting, you and your friend will be right here next to each other, and then you can start your process of your journey steps. At this point in time, you um, there's a few things that you can just do, um, finding some things to start completing journey steps, um, dodging, kicking, blocking, all that kind of stuff. Um, all the fun stuff. But what we're going to do right now is... Um, head out to the prime location that we're talking about um, when we get there we'll go over some of the the settings that you want to have set up the reason I want to get there is because I need to get food and water on the way because I'm going to die if I don't um, but the place we're headed to is right about uh, let's see here we'll do a little castle sign on this one home Right there. Right in about the middle off to the right a little bit of H4. That is where our location that we have picked for this. For the prime starting location in this situation. And we will talk more when we get there. But on the way, you want to do as much of your journey steps as you can manage. So we'll be back momentarily. As a side note, you want to come up to these plants and push E or whatever your button is to grab them so that you have materials on you. Um, also, the rocks, you want to pick up as many as you can on the way. Um, and these sticks like this, you can pick these up as well. And you want to pick up as much as you can going forward. Um, one of the most important things as you're traveling, you want to go to your Feats, no, your your tributes. This is a big one. You want to start bumping every, all your points into the encumbrance to get to that first tier at least. That first tier point. So we'll be back when we get there. All right, so we are here at our location. Um, sort of. I'm just going to go ahead and, and delete that now because you see where we're at. It's right in front of this rock face here i had actually already picked up all these rocks and busted up the rocks here they're going to come back shortly but we want to um, build ourselves a little home real quick but my stomach hurts because i'm hungry so if you actually go to these grubs you can pick them up you can either go to your inventory right click on them to eat them um or you can uh, put them on your bar and eat them why did the grub give me food poisoning that is I really don't weird. Know. I don't think I've ever encountered that before. I haven't either. Oh, no, it's sated. Okay. I'm used to, like, when I first started playing, 
if you were in your inventory and you had a green food thing there, it said you were you got food poisoning. But no, it's it's sated, meaning I'm gaining health from it. All right, so what you want to do is have everything that I have here on my bar. You want to have 15 sandstone foundations, 11 sandstone walls, the door frame, the simple wooden door, four of the sloped roof corners, four of the sloped roof, and quite a few other things. You want to make sure you have a weapon, a shield, axe, pickaxe, a bow, some arrows. Um, one craft makes 10, so if you just craft 10... It's going to give you a hundred arrows. Um, and that's for doing some journey steps here in a minute. And apparently rabbits can lift you up in the air. Um, you want to make sure you have a bedroll, campfire. Uh, pick up the aloe leaves because it's going to give you the uh, weak aloe extract, which is really good at healing you. So let's go ahead and start placing our thing. And if both you and your friend, if it's just you and one person, if you both are do all of this you can make a pretty decent house but i would say start it here so that you don't interfere with the spawning of materials and resources because if you spawn too close to the iron ore that we're going to show you back there it will make it disappear once you mine it and it won't come back until you move your base so you want to be here there's a, there's normally a big rock right here you can just mine up real quick and what we're going to do is, if I can... There we go. Once you place 10 items, you get the create a home thing. Um, Phantom, do you want to do your 3x3 three three right up against this on the side? After I make a clan sure. and we join together? Yeah, that's, that would be great. Once, uh, I'm just going to name this something... Uh, uh, sort of... Yeah, survivalists, or however. Yeah, sure. And then you go up to your friend after you clear that. Right-clicking clears the build pieces out of your thing. You push and hold E, and then you invite to the clan. Once they join, they can help you start building. And then... Three more here. And then you want to make sure that it's outer face backwards. Uh, that's two, three, and then and you want to skip one here. Or what you could do is push six and go ahead and put your door frame in. And then put that there. Uh, Phantom, when you um, have your door frame, why don't you put your door frame in between facing this room? That way we can have um, two rooms here. I can do that. And then my extra piece I can bring over here and put in the middle there where the door would naturally would normally be. And this door frame, you don't need to actually put a door on because it's just two rooms. Apparently, it was shelter going underneath the door. You put your door in. And then... You put your... Oh, one thing I forgot to make is the cap for the roof, which is right there and then you can shift click these that you've already used up um, and I've still got some things crafting I thought I had a chest a box crafting I guess I didn't click it uh, I always want to get things organized put that there Oh, to put arrows on your bow, you actually drag them to the bow and drop them on it. Um, let's go ahead and get... And then the thatched roof, cap, and there. Now you have a house. 
and hopefully by now you actually have a little campfire and a bedroll um, I like to put the campfire in the back corner it makes it easier now you don't have to you know separate it and stuff you guys can just make it one big room but it helps keep things separated you want to take some of your wood which if you shift right click it splits it and you actually want to put it in the burn area here and we'll uh, get to that in a minute uh, and then you can store stuff in your box you want to have bedroll there and eat another grub slimy yet satisfying <laughs> yes nothing more appetizing than a good grub um to repair your items you can make sure you have the repair item which the stone hatchet and a lot of the stone stuff is just stone and then you uh Click repair in your inventory there. Wait for it to get done. Put that back. Um, now we need to find some better food. And what you want to do is come over here after you get all your stuff inventory clear and everything one thing you want to make sure you keep doing is get, keep getting these points into the encumbrance and once that's done you'll be okay for a while then you want to focus on strength vitality and grit i like to jump onto strength so that i can kill stuff easier and get food faster um the feats this is where we're looking at now you want to make sure you have the um, mason which that's how you get the the build pieces, the roofing, the ladders, or the, the stairs. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll want primitive cook, torch, and the reason for the torch, that opens up torch bearer, which is going to give you the standing torches, and you can light up your area around your house. So you definitely want to get that one. The improved campfire is a bigger campfire. It has more inventory, but you want to jump over here to armorer and get that armorer done pretty quick. <clears throat> the carpenter. The Tanner and the Thrall Taker. Those are those are huge because at this point you're probably level 10 and you're gonna want that stuff right away. Um, the fences help you um, make a barrier around your house. So those are really important as well. So let's go get some meat, shall we? Phantom? That sounds like an excellent plan. Hang on a moment, let me drop a few things in my box <clears throat> now here in the beginning your bow is not going to be strong enough to kill those deer outright however if you've got a friend with you and you both hit it at the same time you might be able to kill it in one hit but we're going to show you a little bit easier way to do it and it'll get you some of these uh journey steps done and collecting stuff is always a good thing um you can't um, grow these yellow lotus blooms but you can't or blossoms but you can pick them up because later on they'll be very useful and, and I, they grow all over in this area yes so no shortage of those all right so let's go ahead and go over here and and get our real food now, what you can do is start off by using your bow because shooting something is a uh, journey step. And if you hold right click, you aim. Once you see that, do you see that little uh, spark at the end of the bow when it, a little blip of light, if you're looking at the point of your bow, it kind of blinks. That's where you'll get your most power out of it. And that actually did a pretty decent amount of damage. And these guys will come at you. And then you block. And wait for them to hit you. There we go. Because blocking is a journey step. 
Now, you probably want to avoid getting hit, but there's two of us. These guys, you want to use your cleaver on them. And getting ahead is a journey step, too. So, there's that. Now, let's go get... Um, and who doesn't want to get ahead? Right? Um, after that, I mean, if you took some damage, that. drink one of your aloe extracts. Get some health back. Because we're going to go after another prey. But we're going to do something different with this one. While he's picking up those, I'm going to go over these uh, settings real quick. In the settings thing... Uh, the person that is hosting should probably go ahead and do make me admin. I've already got it. And it says allowed to cheat, but this makes it very useful right now. The general, you really don't want to... There's really nothing here except the tether distance. You want to make sure that's maxed out. Um, the progression, you generally don't need to worry about anything. Day, night, don't worry about anything. Survival... I like to turn down the idle thirst and hunger because if you're standing there, you're not going to get hungry and thirsty as fast. So I turn those down to point two. Um, combat, generally don't worry about it. Harvesting, I like to bump the harvest amount to two or three so that you can get things built faster. Uh, respawn, my default was two. Um, you can turn that up or down, whatever you want. Uh, let's see here. Crafting. I like turning the craft time multiplier in half and the thrall crafting way down because otherwise you're going to be waiting a long, long, long time for thralls to, to be done. Um, the abandonment doesn't matter. The next one is purge. That's kind of your own settings. One of these days we'll have a video out that goes over just those settings. And so you can understand how that works. Pet and hunger, thrall crafting time, or the, the pen crafting time turn that down to 0 0.01 makes it a lot easier to get your pets um, population limit because you're on somebody's computer you really want to have the population limit i have this set at 20 and 10 otherwise it can be overcrowded and cost a lot of cpu power uh, and then that's it that's it for the settings and we're going to go over here and pick on this crocodile um one thing you want to do is make sure that you block these guys because they can do a lot of damage and bleed. And if you want to block, you can have your friend come up behind and start smacking him and he'll be focused on you so that neither one of you take any damage. This guy, you want to use your skinning knife on and because it's going to give you a bunch of reptile hide all right and then you run back drop off your stuff and cook your new meat because that is a very useful thing to have those uh the savory meat from the uh, shale backs is the one you want the most because it's going to help you it's going to be your staple food for a long long time so yep. what you do is you just drop all the meat that you picked up. You will get a little bit of the feral flesh from the gators, which it helps. And then you just cook it up. And then you drop off your items you picked up. I got a head from one of those guys if you want to pick it up out of my box over here. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Oh, he went ahead and crafted the big campfire, so you can actually go ahead and... Uh, Throw all the, your, the stuff that you've crafted, or that you picked up, in there. And then, uh, shift right click on that. And then you just right click a meat, and you get filling meal. Alright, that is your perfect, I would say the perfect start. The reason we're saying start here is because right back here, we'll show this in the next video, you've got a bunch of iron, and this is what the iron looks like right here. And you don't want it to go away, that's why we say build down there. And mining this up for the first time, you'll get a journey step, and we'll show you the route to take to maximize the amount of iron you get per run. Um, and we'll show you some other things. But thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you could, hit that like button. Um, if you like the content, 
please hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you can get notifications of more videos to come. Also, we have begun live streaming. We have live streams on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So please check us out on Twitch. The link will be in the description below. And we'll see you on the flip side.